What is going on guys, DBG here, and today we've got new Spotlight Rewards. We have the rewards for today, tomorrow, and Sunday, lads. So we've gotten rewards for the three days, which is going to be a pretty good one anyway. Some nice some nice names here, Danny Manning, Darren Williams, uh, Kevin Willis. And yeah, they are going to be the three cards, lads. So anyway, before we get on to that, I will leave a link in the description. I think because purely... And because of the fact, um, I'm probably going to start dual streaming more on the main channel on YouTube. I might as well. Um, there's no reason for me not to stream more on it. So I'm going to be dual streaming quite a bit on... Um, or I'm going to be streaming quite a bit. And there's no point in using like a kind of dying Twitch audience. So I'm going to be setting up a kick. Uh, kick account, you guys can follow me. Sub to DBG. I will leave a link in the description. Probably where I'm going to be streaming. I'm going to be streaming there as well as on the main YouTube channel at times. And the only reason I'm doing it is because, well, basically I was meant to get like $150 last month from Twitch. They only paid me $90. And um, yeah, so considering the fact they took 60 quid off me, even though I filled out all the tax, correct tax information, they're withholding money for just no, for absolutely no reason. Um, and they only done it for first time last month. I'm just not really bothered dealing with them. But let's look at these three cards. So Danny Manning is basically an invincible. 6'10", massive player build, 7 foot wingspan, 94 speed, 94 acceleration, decent 3 ball with a good release, or with a good hot zones. 90 interior, 95 perimeter, 95 lateral, 92 steel, 92 block. What badges does he need? I don't know. And he's a 6'10", small forward as well. He's got good height. So animations, Booker Duncan. So he had Magic Johnson, Amari, Stoudemire. I didn't even mind his all-release, but it was it was slow. It would be slow for now. Whereas you now get Booker Duncan. What is it with giving everybody Duncan base? I actually don't mind it on some players. Like, I like it on Karl Malone. I like it on Bob Nedlicki. Say Duncan, not Duncan base. Duncan up here. I like it on Malone. I like it on Nedlicki. I hate it. I like it on Dressman. I hate it on Victor. Mainly because I just hate Kuzma base. I hate Kuzma base so much. Um, and I don't like it on Dirk either. It's a really weird one. It's like, on some players I like Duncan up here, some players I don't. It's not like KPJ that I like all the KPJ upper ones. So, um, yeah, then we have got, uh, we got this card here. It was really good. You guys can see, um, ten, who gives a damn about Tendos? Wow, like it makes no odds. It makes absolutely no odds. Everything's all right compared to Victor. Fair. I guess the only issue is that, like, yeah, he's not Victor. He's not Victor, and then you can maybe make the argument, but at the same time, whenever it's a good problem when every card is god tier. The only thing is though, is that like, is he better than Jarrus Walker? Probably not, but it's not like he's a bad card. I cannot say that these this is a bad card at all. He's a very good card, in fact. So yeah, Danny Manning is there, and then we got Kevin Willis, seven foot tall, seven three wingspan, monster player builds. That is the one thing I will always say about Kevin Willis is that his player build is always huge in my team, lads. It's always massive. So that is one of the uh, that's one of the big things about um, Kevin Willis. I've called him Kevin. I mean, if I haven't called him Kevin Willis, I do apologize. But ninety-five, everything on defense, all the defensive badges. Problem is, he does get he has a goal range, no agent threes. No real dribbling. He's just going to be a big body to throw a power forward. Carmelo Rubio is going to be... He's going to be a nice stack catch and shoot guy. He's going to be a nice wide open catch and shoot guy. Not going to be much else. He's not bad. What, does he have tendos? <laughs> Jesus, lads. Um, no one's wasting their time. The Royal is going to be an endgame card. So... Yeah, I'll, uh, I, wish, I wish the rewards were for two players. Like, the East token, it would be way cooler if, like, the East reward was an Invincible, the West reward was an Invincible, and it locks in for an endgame. That would be cooler, but, look, it's not the end of the world. Kevin Willis is, like, uh... He's not terrible. He's not actually the worst player in the world. He's not great, either. Um, I will say, he's just okay. He's really, really just okay. So... Yeah, I'll put him... I'll say he's decent. And Darren Williams, 6'3", 6'6", wingspan. And people are saying another small guard, usable usable small guard? Wow. I hate Kuzma. Kuzma base is my least favorite base in the game. Um, so let's take a look at him. So 98 three ball, 98 speed, 98 acceleration. 
other than block, he's actually really nice stats wise. Defensively, obviously not the greatest interior defender. He's a 6 3 point guard at the end of the day. That upper. What are we doing here? Like, people are being like, oh, he's a Kuzma base. Have you ever used the Devante Kaycock upper? It's not that bad on Katina Mobley because Katina Mobley has. I don't. Maybe Katina Mobley's release would suck now if I try to use it. It is horrendously slow. If you've ever used this Darren Williams, it's really slow. On a positive, on a positive, does this allow me to use the redeem team? Does this give me my, uh, he, Darren Williams was on the redeem team, wasn't he? Yeah, I mean, it almost allows me to use the redeem team. Is Boozer in the game? We just need a Boozer. We just need a good boozer card. Like the boozer card we have apps. The boozer cards we have suck. I probably will just go and get my pink diamond Carlos boozer to be honest. Because there's no better versions. But um, yeah, 2k. We just need a boozer card and we can make the redeem team. I know we're not getting Tayshaun Prince. But look, it is what it is. And um, Darren Williams is going to be a decent card. He's going to be a decent card. But I don't think he's going to be the most spectacular thing um i think he's gonna be a fine 6-3 shooting guard or 6-3 point guard if you're looking for a 6-3 point guard but that is about it so anyway yeah when it comes to these cards right here i don't think any of them are bad like they're all better than tony parker if that's something they're all better than tony parker they're all uh they're all better than Trying to think who else we got last week. No, they're not better than Brad Dart. D. I mean, who the hell came out last week? They're all better than Jerry Sloan with that normal size up. They're all better than Zebo. Um, so they're not terrible cards. Not as good as Don Oldo. Not terrible cards at all. So anyway, yeah. What do you guys think? Are you uh you guys gonna get these? You guys going for the reward? I like it. I like it. I'm not uh I'm not too upset by it. I think it is a very, very solid um solid rewards. Again, not the biggest fan of Darren Williams, but the other two are gonna be solid and Danny Manning is gonna be elite. Like if Danny Manning comes out today, there is if that release is good, there is a possibility that Danny Manning is the number uh is my three. Considering I use Jarris Walker, there is a possibility Danny Manning goes and makes that team over Jarris Walker.